After we finished now our cup model, it's now time for clean up the whole thing and prepare it for making the UVs and then for the texturing process. My name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train. It's fun to have you back here again for this Houdini practice hour. So let's dive into our cup here. The first thing I want to do is I deactivate here the subdivision preview. So by pressing Shift minus, okay, here it is. We can also activate here the wire shade on the cup. And if you now take a look here at the end of our tree and hold down your middle mouse button, you see that we have all kind of groups here and seams and all these things here. And I don't need them. And a good practice after this procedural modeling approach is to get rid of all the stuff you don't need because this stuff is data and data has to be stored, transported through the stream and so on. And it's really distracting. So let's think about what we later want to do. We want to make materials here on the cup. We want to have here for the lid uh, some material. Maybe we have to unwrap it here so that we can place here a text on top. And then we have these two paper parts here and maybe also an outside and an inside. So these are groups which we later want to have for materials, but not all the other stuff. So how to get rid of that? Let's start here with the paper. So I activate here the display flag and come here to the cap paper. And if we hold down here the middle mouse button, you see we have two primitive groups here, inner paper and top. In a paper, something we needed for the modeling process, but not in this year. We used it here. You see, blast not in a paper. So, first, get rid of everything. How to do that? Because these things here are groups, we can use a delete group node. So, if you type delete, you see group delete. We can add this here. Okay. And if we activate this now and make a middle mouse button press again, you see nothing has changed because here in this group, you have to define what you want to delete. We can have different deletions here. So we can add them by plus or here. Then we have the group type, which you want to get rid. So you can get rid of any group type, which you have here in the list or everything. And you also can delete separate groups. If you want to delete everything, you can use here a star or an asterisk. So if you do something like that here and now hold your middle mouse button, you see everything is deleted. Great. So this stream here is now clear and we name this thing delete stuff. Okay. Next thing in this stream here, we need some selections. I want to have the outside and the inside of this paper as separate groups because you maybe want to add later two kind of materials to that. So how to get this information? Think about that. When we come back here into our tree and I activate here the height, for example, you remember that this red node here is a node which we later want to change because I maybe want to change the distance and the insert. And this was the extrusion. Let's take the handle tool, then you see the handles. This was this outer extrusion here. And if you want to have now the result here, this outer shell here, we activate here the outputs. And by the outputs, you also see here groups which you can generate. So what you can do is, this is output side, this is the side here, this paper here. This is now outputted here as polygons, but you also can output this here as a side group and then you can name it. Now I name this, let's say this is paper. So type in here paper. Okay. Then we say this is the outside. And then I make another underscore and say MTL for material. So this is a little hint for myself that I know why I have this group in my tree. So this group is now really important. But let's copy the name here. This is important. And come back now here to our delete node, which we added here, group delete. If we now output here, this group will also be deleted. And this is something we don't want. We used here the asterisk, so this star symbol, which deletes everything. 
but you can make exceptions and for making an exception I click into this field make a space so that we have one space between that and then we use the caret sign which is on the left on my German keyboard here it's this little roof symbol here and I press the spacebar after that so that I get rid here of my interactive char replacement so you have seen maybe that if I only press here the caret sign you have this little line underneath that and if I press now for example a character which can work with this caret sign it's attached so I press here the spacebar to get out of that and now everything which is behind this caret sign is an exclusion and for this we can now paste our group name here paper outside material so delete everything but not that here if you now hold down your middle mouse button you see this group is now still there and we can use it later great now the same thing here for the inner paper so we have to search where we have the inner paper generated and it was generated here this poly extrude so we do the same thing again but look at that we have here a side group with the name inner paper we use this side group here in a paper for this branch here and now comes the important part don't rename that because if you rename that here this part here the blast and the things which depend here will not work anymore because this group here is the starting point for this branch here so instead of that we can use now this group but I want to have the same name scheme for all of my material groups so I take this group and copy it later this group is still there in this stream here so it goes down until we come again to this point here and we insert now a node here this time we take a group promote node and we add this here we can set the display flag here and now you see we have promotions you normally work with group promote to convert groups from one kind to another kind so what we want is not a conversion we only want to use it as a copy so we say I want to have it from auto to primitives because we need a primitive group the group which we want to convert or copy in our case is the group in a paper and we name it now here in our name scheme so I paste here the old name the paper outside material in and say this here would be the inside okay one important note if you ever work with uh, promotions here is that the original group here the inner paper is deleted in the moment when you convert it or copy here this over so if you hold down now your middle mouse button here you see that the inner paper here is gone it's okay because we delete it here by the star but if you ever want to keep a group you only want to have a copy or a conversion there's an option for this keep original group if you need so now we have two groups here let's test this again this is the paper outside group and right we have to take this name go into our delete and make another spacebar caret sign and paste here the next group paper inset material and now we have these two groups here if you ever want to check this remember if you press the s key for selection you can then press the nine key on your keyboard or click here so nine key brings up the selections make sure that you're in the right component so in our case the primitives and then you see here this is inside and this is outside now you can check this great nine key again to get rid of that and I think this here is now done now let's go to this branch here this is here the bottom part and I think I want to clean it up completely and then we only need one group where everything is selected so make a little bit of space we take delete group node again or group delete say we want to get rid of everything and then in the next step we make a new group paste it in here and say we want to have a primitive group the name of that here is paper bottom material that's it and then if we go here to the merge see everything 
S key, nine again, bottom, inside, outside, great. So, it's a preparation here. Save, and let's go to our lid here. Now we have here our lid. And the question for this is what we need here. I want to have a group later here for the top. But this group is not needed for material because I think I only want to have one plastic material later. But I want in the UVs later, for example, to stencil a text into this area here, our logo. So maybe I want to show you how to make a group out of that. Let's do the same things we've done before. Group delete. Goodbye to everything. Okay, clear again. And then we want to have this areas here which are flat. Like I've said, because we need this later here for the UVs, for example, that we want to have something in flat areas like this or this. So for this, we can use the group node. Okay. It selects everything because this field is open and I deactivate this now. Now we name the whole thing. I name it lid underscore flat areas. Okay. And then we say, I want to keep by normals. Everything is selected now. I want to have the direction in Y, but not in Z. So deactivate that. And then we lower the spread angle. And now you see, if you take a look here to the green selection, that you now get only the areas which are facing upwards. And yeah, make them, for example, two degree, so that we really only get these here. So that's the preparation here for the groups. You see, that was not complicated. And yeah. That's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.